growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be. Back to another episode of Lit Podcast. We are officially in season five. Like I tell y'all, I always bring y'all special guests. But tonight, yeah, tonight we got a legendary. When I mean, we got two people legendary in this motherfucker, I got. I, I can't believe I got two and two watch, but I only got one interview tonight. But I'm getting a rifle man, a rifle man up in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? He behind the cameras over there chilling in the cut. But right here in my seat, man, I got no other than Blowfly. But now he go by Mister Blowfly. You know what I'm talking Mr. about? Blowfly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you, you know, know what I'm saying? But I see you put the MR on it, so that's that yeah. means that's how much that's most respect. You know what I'm saying? I did that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> you know, you gotta you gotta you gotta respect that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So to all my viewers out there, man, y'all motherfuckers get them blunts lit up, you know what I'm talking about? We finna go down there through there tonight. For the people who are under the rock and for the people who don't understand and the people who don't know, tell them who you are and where you from. Uh Blowfly, Mr. Blowfly, you know what I'm saying? I was born in North Park. I'm originally from North Park, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to North Park. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? We moved to the Grove, you know what I'm saying? Just a little short history. We moved to the Grove. And then, you know, I met my nigga, you know what I'm saying, who was from the South. And basically, the South adopted me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that South, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because from there, you know, we hustled in the South. We did everything in the South. And I was in the South. And that's where, you know, the music got real that. You know what I'm saying? Being in the South every day, so I gotta say the South adopted me, but I was originally Parkland baby boy, you know what I'm saying? From North Park, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, that's how it is in Dallas. You know, we move around, you know what right I'm talking on. about? Especially when they start gentrifying and, and, and Section A and, and the whole thing, you get oh, yeah. a little bit of money too, shit, we're gonna move around. So Southside, you said adopted. I think Southside adopted a lot of us because you yeah, know when sure. you don't let MLK, you get to that car wash, which they done shut down now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like all that used to be the lick. You know, going down through Second and Pine oh, and yeah. all that. Mm-hmm. That's the hood over there. Second so, Avenue, Hamilton Avenue. Yeah. Uh -huh. Avenue. Yeah, man. Shout out, man, over there, man. What's that? Uh, the TMC shot over there. What's that? Uh, TMA. TMA. Yeah, TMA. Right. Yeah, yeah TMA. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. All my boys over there. Shout out Black. You know what I'm talking about? Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Go all the way down through there, man. So let's talk about how you got started in music, man. What, what, what was the inspiration, man? What was like, especially back then in Dallas? You know, what, what got you like, say, man? Uh, well, you know, uh, starting out, man. I guess you could say, like, you know, growing up, you know, my mom used to listen to a lot of music and shit, so starting out, I just had a love for music. You know, I, I was, you know, bumping Jackson 5 and, you know what I'm saying? Right, and right. Shit like that back in the day, you know, all Jackson 5 shit. I was a big Jackson 5 fan, and from there, I, I actually wanted to sing. I thought I did anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, from there, you know what I'm saying? I actually started out writing little love <coughs> songs to my little crushes and, and, in uh oh, yeah. in elementary, you know what I'm saying? And uh around about the sixth grade, man, I I, I I I fell into the rap shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, I started right. fucking around with the rhymes a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And by junior high, I ran into back then my best friend named Dee Dee, you know what I'm saying? And Dee Dee was already rapping and shit, you know what I'm saying? And uh we had a little rap about chicks. <laughs> we named off all these chicks by name, you know what I'm saying? Like Got a bitch named Betty. She always ready. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And went on went on down the line. And he kind of, you know, from there it kind of started. You know what I'm saying? I started, you know, we started, we started out writing that little rap and we was a little cool. And, you know what I'm saying? From there, you know, I just fell in love with it, man. I was just, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop head, writing right. every day. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what was the hip hop music that you were listening to or growing up to at that time? And who, like, like, and I want to, I want to say, like, that was major at that time, and also that was local in our area. Well, shit, you know what I'm saying? Run DMC. Okay. Uh, you know my shit all time favorite and my fucking idol is fucking Rakim. You know what I'm saying? I'm, Rock from, I'm, I'm from that area. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Rakim a beast. Rakim, you know all the old school. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Big Daddy Kane, all that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. As far as local, you know what I'm saying? DOC, you no know, Feel the Fresh Crew type mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Cause shit, that's really all we had back there. You know what I'm saying? Them days was you know feel a fresh crew, you know nemesis. You know what I'm right, saying? That right. type of shit. Yeah, nemesis. You know Cottonmouth was Cottonmouth was out back then. Was out. That was South Circle. Yeah, I'm talking about like before Cotton. Okay, you know okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? Before yeah. Cotton, like you know. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, early but, 80s. But, but you, yeah, yeah, okay, early, yeah. Where the love began. Okay, you know what I'm okay. Yeah, that's when Yushay was still rocking. Yeah, that type of yeah. shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Yushay, man. R.I.P. Yushay. Yeah, man. for real. Yushay used to show a nigga a lot of love, too, man. Cotton, man, fucking around. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, you know what I'm so, for real. let me ask you this. Like, at, you say you started in school and everything, you fell in love with the rap. Yeah. What, what made you take it serious? Uh, what made me take it serious? I mean, shit. It, you know, it was always a dream, but I guess we fucked around and saved a few, a few coins and uh, we went to the studio one day. Mm-hmm. White boy. White boy, I don't remember his name. I know she was in Mesquite way back in the gap. Me and my little partner. And uh, we didn't know nothing about nothing. We just told him to put us on a rap beat. So the nigga literally pulled out some type of tape or something that said rap beats on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he, uh, he put it on and the bitch, I swear the bitch just went, just had a like a snare and a beat. <coughs> boom, pop, boom, pop, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we thought we was on shit. We got to writing like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And laid like seven, eight bars of that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? No hook yeah. or nothing. Just rapping like a motherfucker. Happy that a bit. Yeah, hey, yeah, shit. First time in the, in the studio, shit. You know, we the professional shit. We saved yeah. up our money, yeah. So that was the first. That was the very first time we went to a studio. You know what I'm saying? And we played that tape all day long, all night long. Dubbed it about six, seven times. Make sure we never lost that motherfucker shit. <laughs> and from there, man, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> but you know what I'm saying. That was like, I think it was about like in his twenties back then, like early twenties or something. Now, matter of fact, maybe like 18 or some shit. Like 18, that. 18. You know what I'm saying? From there, you know what I'm saying? It just went into, you know, just went into just, you know, just writing every day, rap. You know, Nick still, you know, that was, it was a while before we went to the studio again after that shit, you know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> <laughs> that over there. Well, how much studio time was then? Shit, I, man, I don't even know. I think we probably gave, I'm pretty sure the man robbed us because shit. <laughs> He know we he know we didn't know shit about that. Yeah, shit. yeah, cause back then you had to put it what well, they well it, they had CDs still, yeah. but they, they still was doing tapes too. Yeah, it was yeah. The, you know the weird ass white yeah. boy with the ponytail. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, we forget him, man. We forget him, honey, something, man. Yeah, we I think we said it might have been about a hundred something for like two hours or three yeah. hours or something. I don't know. Nah, shit. that's what's up, man. So like I don't mean to cut you off, but like through this through this journey though. I want, I want my people really get to know both of you know what I'm saying? Because what well, people don't understand, you left a stamp in the game. I don't, I don't think you understand that you left a major impact on a lot of us right that came up after you, you know what I'm saying? Right and it's like, you know, um, what was it? What was the process of you getting your name out there known and hooking up with other talents, you know what I'm saying? And, and collecting um, features and things like that. Like, what was that process like? Well, um, I gotta say, it started with my uh, partner, COD, you know what I'm saying? I know it's just a little bit off track, but I gotta tell you this, I wanted to get into that. Uh, You know, we was fucking around over there, that's when I first started like going to the studio, studio and taking, that's really when I took it serious, you know what I'm saying? Through my partner, COD, you know what I'm saying, out the south, and uh, he had a studio in the crib. It's also where I met Cotton, you know what I'm saying? Because back then I was going, you know what I'm saying, going by like, J Love and some shit like that. I was going through a name name crisis. You know okay, what I mean? okay. So All right. uh, actually, actually, Cotton gave me the name Killer J. Okay, Killer J. Yeah, shout out to okay. Cotton for that. Shout so, out Cotton. Cause, you know so uh, you know, we I was in there and uh, Co introduced us and shit. Cotton heard me in there rapping and shit. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, nigga, damn, nigga, what you know about? You know what I'm saying? I was like, shit. J Love, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? J Love, I've been there rapping about straight gangster shit. Yeah, man. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, I came out there. I came out the booth, and me and Cotton chopped it up. He was like, you know, nigga, going hard or whatever. And, you know, he's like, you go by J Love and all that shit. So uh, we got the vibe and this shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the nigga called me like maybe like a week later. You know what I'm saying? Talking about doing an album together. You know what I'm saying? And shit. And we, Used to chop it up and smoke all the time, chopping up about the album and shit. So the nigga was just telling me one night, he like, nigga, you need, 
you talk, you talk too gangster to be calling yourself J Love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Killer J, nigga. So that's what Killer J was born. You know what I'm saying? Which was. Oh, we kill it. He say, "Fuck the love." We gonna yeah, kill her, Jay. Yeah, Go. kill her, Jay. So I okay. went by Killer Jay for a while and shit. And then one night we were sitting in the in the, in the uh, and he used to come through in the van all the time. We were sitting out there smoking smoking in the van and shit. And they were like, we were sitting up. For, I said, "Man, I need a new name." So you know what I'm saying. And then that's what it came to the you know the blow fly. Well, what was wrong with the Killer Jay? What, 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 it was just well, we 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 in Cotton was sitting in there chopping it up. We were like, damn, you know what I'm saying, Nick. Need, some, need a more commercial name. Okay. Because, okay. you know, back, you know, because it was already hard enough getting on the stations back then as it was. So right. They was kind of naughty that my name would kind of, you know, fuck that up or whatever. Right. You know what okay. I'm saying? So, Killer J. So, shit. I sat in there, you know what I'm saying? Thought about the, uh, the, uh, the Blowfly. You know what I'm saying? That's how the Blowfly was born that night. We were sitting there smoking and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. Blowfly, they will fly. You know, I, I felt like when I seen it, the whole the whole presentation, yeah. especially the set the second album, you know you, you know what, what I'm saying? Need. Yeah, what yeah. you need, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it really it really because when death uh, death before dishonor was yeah. out, you know we didn't really yeah. get the you know what I'm saying? But yeah. when all the cottonmouth shit was coming out, we, I knew who you was, but never had the face. Already. But when that came out, it let me know. I was like, man, what, what made you even come up with Blowfly? You know what I'm saying? Well, the shit. It was it was basically supposed to mean blow big fly all day. You know okay, so okay, okay. Blow fly, and I honestly had not heard of the nigga, the old school nigga at that time. Right, right, right. <laughs> but my T. Joni used to play the rap dirty all the time, but I didn't know the nickname was Blow Fly. You right. know what I'm saying? Until later on, we was going to some show in Austin, and I seen the nigga tape. It was called Blow Fly for President. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> so old school. I looked the nigga. I said it was a whole old school nigga. Yeah, they tried to sue me and all kind, but that's another story. Damn! <laughs> but, uh, they tried, oh, that fucked up. Trying that South by South with shit. Yeah, they sent yeah. me a uh, cease and desist uh, email. Damn! I had to use that name. So, I don't know if anybody got it, but I told them, you know what I'm saying? I didn't spell his name with a W. I, spell, I don't have a W. No. Right, you're right. So, that's they, so they, got, they can squash that right now. Matter of fact, go on downtown, yeah. put that shit on the I honestly hadn't heard of that nigga before that. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. To me, it was blow big, fly all day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Blow fly. Right. You know what I'm saying? I said it a few rhymes throughout the years. You know what I'm saying? Already. Yeah. Already, man. So, yeah. what was the first album, man, you you hopped on with Cotton? Well, yeah, that was Killer Cottonfield. That was Killing Cottonfield? Yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. Killer Cottonfield, man. That was a good time. Though. Yeah, that, what, was that? <laughs> what was that like? High you know, times, man. man. That was high times, man. I, I could tell you I was most motherfucking high shit. Cause Cottonmouth, even have a name at Cottonmouth. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, goddamn me. So what it was like in the studio then, man? Oh, man, high times. Man. High times. Man, we used to get so full, man, smoking that dip and that weed. And... Rolling Stone. Ooh, <laughs> I know album man, we recorded with like six, seven niggas in the booth, nigga. Everybody had to what? be in the booth. We smoking. We got kicked out of a few studios. What nigga y'all was hot in the bitch? Man, it's like, we, we was riding, my nigga. That was, yeah. that was a fun album to record, I gotta say that. You know what I'm saying? Man. That, that, that was a fun album to record right there. You know so, what I'm then we'll, okay, so, okay, you go through there with Cotton Mouth, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. What, what, what lands you to say, like, okay, I can do my own project? Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying, uh, it kind of just happened, man, because, you know, Real to Real kind of, you know what I'm saying, broke up a little, a little bit, you know what I'm saying, kind of, you know, started, you know, fucking with the Rally Boys and all that, and uh, 24 just came to me, you know what I'm saying, and was right. like, shit, time for your solo, Right. simple as that, so. So, the process of your solo, like, Cause I know it's it, 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 it's it's hard sometimes, you know, when you trying to shop for beats. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then like uh, you probably already had your ideas, probably already written, already ready. Sometimes that shit don't fit. Like, what was your process of going through your first album? Shit, it, it was pretty. It was pretty smooth, man. Cause shit, like I say, I had a, uh, I had a uh, snake on deck at the time. You know what I'm saying? Twenty four was, you know. Running the show, you know what I'm saying? The man with the plan. Shit. Right. I was, I was, you know what I'm saying? The main player. You know what, what I'm saying? What, what clothes was popping then back then when y'all was, what clothes was popping then? <laughs> uh, shit. I don't know. Shit. Yo, uh, remember, y'all know y'all had a couple. Who, who, was, who was the DJ? Who was the main DJ after you stay? Uh, 
Damn, my nigga, hold on. Because you had, back then, what we had? Oh, uh, uh, what's the name? Lakeside and all this Lakeside, shit. Lakeside, yeah. What they changed name to? A, a Park Ave or Safari. something? Safari. Oh, Safari. Safari. Oh, yeah. yeah. Changed it to Safari. Okay, okay. Man. Okay. Oh, ooh, yeah. that boy went back. Yeah. Yeah. It changed to Safari. So, Safari was jumping, and then, you know, of course, like, animes and shit like animes that. Animes and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we was all over that shit, man. Yeah, animes, would say. That was a tough one. Yeah, yeah, anime was a yeah. tough one. Yeah, anime was a tough one. <laughs> yeah, anime was tough. One. Yeah, for real, shit. Yeah, I think I used to sneak out, but I was young. I used to sneak over there to the ghetto club too. Yeah, the ghetto yeah, was young yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. 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 they tore yeah. all that shit down back there, man. Yeah. All that they shit been gone. putting the highway, everything through there. Yeah. All that shit gone. So, when did you know your first album was the complete? Well, shit, like I said, uh, the process, the process of making the album was the complete. was pretty easy because you know right. I was. I was writing all the time, you know what I'm saying? So, I me and Snake used to sit at his crib, you know what I'm saying, and vibe out it, you know, in his crib, and I sit there and just write while he make the track, you know what I'm saying? And we go to the studio and lay that shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah, that, that process is pretty smooth, you know what I'm saying? And uh, what was the last song I did? I can't remember the last song I did on there, but shit. I don't know, we just ran through them, man. I think it was about 13 songs on that album, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, we just ran through them, man. It was pretty quick, too, you know what I'm saying? Because oh, we was fucking with JP. Shout out JP. Oh, the kitchen? Yeah, which okay, was yes. another spot where I first laid my first real rap song at. So okay, shout out yeah, JP. Yeah, the kitchen, boy. That's history through that kitchen, huh? First motherfucker to ever smoke some real ass endo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's yeah. what. <laughs> had a nigga tripping over there. My father was about to fight JP behind that weed too, man. Oh no, nah, JP, you say you got him high. He ain't never had that shit. He ain't never had that shit. Had that shit. So he took him fast. Man, he took us too fast. My nigga took us too with, with a joint. <laughs> took us too fast. Took us to my pot to fight him. He thought he had oh, laced him or something. But yeah, shout out JP, man. Uh, yeah. Yo, man. JP, yeah, that's where we, that's where uh, I recorded them for this on that with JP. Though. Okay, yeah, yeah, man. He gave you a nice sound. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah cause that, that, that was that that was that warm up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That yeah, that was that warm up because yeah. then that, that 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 gave everybody to pay attention. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And you had you had a lot of hitters on there, a lot of features on there. And then you came back, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. what you need, like what, what, what was that? What was that? You know what I'm saying? What made you say, okay, it's time, it's, it's time to amp it up? Well, by that time, you know, shit was looking a little, look, look, you know, what I'm saying a little better for us, you know what I'm saying? Right. We got the studio in the south, real, real studio in the south, you know what I'm saying? Right over there, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we had the studio over there, and uh, shit, Snake was coming in there recording this and shit. That's when Rife and them came into play right there. That was 2000. Man, shout out Rifle Man, man, yeah, yeah, man, he, man, man, I, I know that, that, that one album, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and, you, and you did your thing on that, man, shout out, man, you know, like, for real, for real, we gonna talk about that, man, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, man. yeah, so how do you keep talking about Snake, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. you like, the Snake, how y'all even really just connect and build that bond like that, because, you know, Snake back then, you know, he, like, us to us, you know, we were like, shit, that, that, that was that nigga, you know, niggas yeah. back in Back in the day, was looking for Snake. Who did that bass? Yeah, you know. Well, you know, I, I met Snake through Cotton. Cotton okay. was already affiliated with okay, Snake. Okay, cool. You know, they had already put out that album you was just talking about earlier. Yeah. Okay, cool. Him and Corey, R. P. Corey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, R. P. Most respect too, man. Yeah. yeah. So okay, yeah. so that that landed y'all throughout the time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I met, you know, what I'm saying. So that's how I, that's how I connected with Snake, and then Snake came on in. He recorded, you know, what I'm saying the Death Before Dishonor, and then we got that studio. In the south, you know what I'm saying. That's what. That's when we start recording. What you need. Also, what Rife recorded High Noon too. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying. Snake recorded both our albums, and you know what I'm saying. Donated a couple of tracks. You know what I'm saying. That's why. That's why. That's why we was falling in love with him because that sound. Yeah. 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 And it was authentic too. Especially yeah, Snake at that was time. a big part of a nigga uh, career in the beginning, man. You know what I'm saying. Right. It, 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 I mean, like I say, legends. Mixing with legends, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it ain't nothing, it, it ain't nothing yeah. to it but to do it, you know what I'm saying? Plus, you know, we, yeah, because we was already, you know, you know, when I met that nigga, I said, damn, this nigga be on the radio, you know what I'm saying, right. on the snake, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so it was, it was crazy, you know, I said, how that went down, because we was already fans listening right. to the damn station, what was it, I think it was 89.3, yeah, right, right, yeah, right, back in the gap. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So, we was already fans of Snake now, you know what I'm saying, Nemesis and all that shit. So. And what, L K O N? you they used to be, they used to have one in the south, but the original one was over there in the east, right? Yeah. Yeah, in the east, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, 
what was the process you were trying to get your songs on the radio or getting uh, shows and stuff like that? Were you doing shows at that time? Yeah, we were doing shows, man. Uh, it was really, you know, 24 was pulling some strings and, you know what I'm saying, put some bread in some niggas' pockets to right. you know, make make certain things happen for us to, you know, get in where we fit in. You right, know what I'm saying? right. Uh, we had the little single that when I uh, did dig that, you know what I'm saying, that was on the radio, but the shit. That was before, uh, uh, what was that station? 97.9. 97.9, before they even had a DJ, you remember that? Yeah, yeah, nine, nine, yeah 97, 97.9, nine. They, they just had the uh, music just running Yeah, just all. running, remember yeah, that, that, uh -huh. that, 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 that? We had a single on the radio during that time. Right, when they okay. they had no damn DJ on there, they were just playing the music, so they had dig that on rotation during that time, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Yeah, we did a few shows. We were doing shows, you know what I'm saying, here and now. What was the process getting the getting the, the albums in the in the um in the stores? Shit, just you know what I'm saying, footwork. You know footwork, what I'm saying? getting yes, on that yeah, road. Yeah, because y'all, because I know, I know, I used to get your your music at Big T. Yeah. Yeah, like all the time. I always, if I pull up up at uh what's that uh Sam CDs mm -hmm. that was up in there. You know what I'm saying, and and over there in the Grove with, uh, at T Town. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. All by our hands. She, yeah. He was in the trunk with it and hitting every spot. Nah, yeah. man, that's what's up. That's we what's going up. Going to Louisiana, Austin, San Antonio. We put them like, like a lot of people don't know. For you don't know, I know. That's a lot of people I heard. You know, know that this hit right here that I'm talking about took took a lot of people by storm. I don't think you really understand that, you know what I'm saying? I really don't think you understand that. That was a real, like, you know, she awesome. Yeah. Was That, that was a classic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Along with all your other features, you know what I'm saying? It was like, and, and I feel like, you know, a lot of us really don't, in Dallas don't really touch our artists like that. We don't really pay the homage, we yeah. really don't. Yeah. Really don't feed in, but at the act, but at the end of the day, when I go behind these doors and I talk to certain people, people know you. Right on, right on. You know what I'm saying? Right on. So I like, I feel like, I feel like, the respect, you know, uh, should go ten four. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like for real. Like, what was the process? Of, or what was what your thought of coming up with? She awesome. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people come on here, and they say, man, I, I came up with that song and I was just playing. You know, <laughs> what was your process? Well, shit, you know what I'm saying? I just want to pay homage to the women, man. You know right. I think women are awesome. Right. <laughs> I think they're awesome. <laughs> Real simple, man. You know what I'm saying? I think women are awesome, man. That nigga was saying, man, that nigga was all up on that train. Nigga was talking about the mat, them ass and titties. Yeah. And like, like, shit, goddamn, yeah, nigga said she shit. awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got to bring it back. For, nah, sure. for real, bring it back, it's, man. It's uh, a new album dropping in January, so yeah, it's gonna definitely be. And so what you working on now? Because right now, see, you got Kings out, you got show, yeah. you got YouTube. You know, I see your YouTube channel. You you, you trying to get it on up there? Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all go tune in to the YouTube channel. Make sure y'all go subscribe on the IG. Right. So what you what you working on now? Uh, I'm working on I'm working on the album. Album is done actually. Right. You know what I'm saying, but like like I said, man, we've been we've been recording. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I move around this bitch like a ghost, man. Right. Shit, I be mean, working. I, right. One thing I stay doing is recording, my nigga. Right, you know, right. Keeping the keeping the sword sharp. You understand? Yeah, I see. I see you jumped out sharp in the video, man. I see you got the bikes in there. You got yeah. the cars with the uh, Vols, mayonnaise, and mustards on them. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, letting yeah, it, sure. let it be known, keeping the OG status. Oh, and, 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 and like one thing I like about you, you ain't changed up at all. Nah, you ain't changed up. That flow still hard. And you still running it. You're like, you running it. You I said, I said, yeah. well, my nigga ain't giving that beat no breath. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> for real. Praise God. Nah, for, yeah. for already. Real. Nah, for real, for real, for real. And, and then shout yeah, out to your blessing, my nigga. Yeah. yeah. And shout out to your nephew, man. A four fifth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Stiff. Oh, you know sure. what I'm saying? And like say, man, I like what he got going on too. Oh, Tell him sure. to keep it going, man. Yeah. Oh, Tell sure. him to keep it going. Like for real, for real. Cause we all we all out here like right now, man, Dallas changing. Yeah. For and sure. what people don't understand. It's here now. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? But it's up to us to start connecting. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We're like what we're doing right now, yeah. politicking and keep it going on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just like on my uh, my uh, mediumatic, like I share people stuff and the yeah. support is free. For sure. You know what I'm saying? We gotta keep that going. That's a real. That's a real. That's a real uh, slogan right there too, man. It's supported it free. It is it's free. It's the internet now. It don't cause nothing to support it. Man, I can watch you. I can watch you. I know niggas who who got what. A thousand subscribers on YouTube. 
Nigga, they probably get 40, 50 views, mm. still getting $2,000 checks. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all you got to do, and all you got to do is. That's it. You ain't got to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? You sure right. Same thing on Instagram. All you got to do, repost. It, it ain't going to hurt you. Repost. It ain't going to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Show some love. Yeah, so what you so okay, so who doing the visuals right now? Cause I see you right now the visuals are hot. My boy uh Mike B, man, billion shot. Shout yeah, out billion to Billion shot. Man, shout out. He's touching hard, everybody. Yeah, he touching that, everybody. Yeah, nigga been to yeah, you're right. He been touching everybody. That nigga yeah. nigga biz ass a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he's touching everybody. I'm trying to keep fucking with him before the price go up, man. Mm. You, know what I'm you know it's going up, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Cause he's getting it now. Yeah, he cause he I, every time I go down my th my my uh timeline, nigga billion shot it. Yeah, billion see shot that it. motherfucking yeah. explosion. Yeah, yeah moves. Yeah. <laughs> Square business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see you over there with my boy Bunky. Yeah, you know that's my nigga. Yeah, that's, that's my boy. Yeah, shout out Bunky. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Shout out yeah. Bunky. Yeah, he be over here next week. That's my little nigga. <coughs> yeah, I got, I got a jam for Bunky. Me and yeah. Bunky probably doing, man. Oh, okay. Bunky probably been done it, but yeah. It's okay. Going hard too, All right, man. Bunky. You heard that? You heard that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that jam you and him, Cotton Mouth did. Yeah. Fuck what you talking about? Man, fuck what you talking about? <laughs> Bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, y'all yeah. had man, y'all look like y'all had fun in that video, yeah, man. Yeah, it was fun, man. Yeah, you know I know, man. That beat was hard. Too. Yeah, that beat was hard. Yeah. Who did yeah, that yeah. trick? I don't know. That, that was Bunky, man. You know what oh, I'm yeah. Saying? Bunky, y'all always coming over some yeah, shit. Yeah, Bunky, y'all always coming over some shit. Man, Bunky, you know, always coming over some tracks, man. For real, man. Yeah, man. That nigga sent me that over. I was like, God damn, they find this bitch at. You know what I'm saying? Man, who came over the hook? Uh, I think Bunky and Cotton. Bunky and Cotton? Yeah, okay. 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 I think. I may have probably Bunky, but. I don't know, but y'all killed that. Y'all killed that. Y'all killed that right there. For real, for real, man. So. So on this new project, man, who you who who we who who we got on the roster? Shit, it's pretty much me, man, and then okay. Rife. Rife, okay, so it's back and forth. Yeah, what what shit? Like I said, the way the, the way the, as far as the song layout is mm. mostly blow. You know okay, okay. And then me and Rife got a couple on there. Okay, you know okay, saying? all right. And then we getting some what we getting visuals to these two? Shit, yeah. Oh man. shit, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. God damn yeah. me, all right. Yeah. All right, so my man, so man, what, so what you got playing for the next five years, man? Shit, living, that's living. Right. Already, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Trying to right. stay alive around this motherfucker. <laughs> already, man. So, so, what, so you say you grew up on, you know, the old school stuff. You know, yeah. you know, okay, uh, uh, Run DMC and stuff like that. So, yeah. okay, I guess I gotta ask him what's his top five rappers. I guess now, right now three, we do three here. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do three here. You know what I'm saying? So my top three? Yeah, your top easy. three. I say Rock Kim, Pop, Jay, Hov, Jay Z. Whoa, he put Jay Z up enough. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, all top right. Three. I can respect that. I can respect That's that. I'm gonna top all three. All you know, three. But my I say the top, but the my faves are of course the you know, down south niggas. Bowl and G face, UGK, you know what I'm saying? He put my boy Bob. That's my favorite though. Man, I was talking about yeah, Bob my Bob my Man, favorite. Say. That boy oh, Raw. Man. And you remind me of Bob on certain tracks. Man, be man. saying I look like the nigga man, too. Say. Man, say. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we had to get there, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We had yeah. to get there. Yeah, we remind me of Bob on certain I know. tracks. I get that shit yeah. all the time, yeah. man. But hey, that's that's a compliment to me. Yeah, that's a compliment, man. Now nah, because you cause in your lyrics, you not you aren't you ain't just talking, you telling stories, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, relatable, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like yeah. it's it's a difference, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, keep that up, you know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. sway, you know what I'm saying? Oh, nah. because, you know, I just be but, having fun. With yeah. it, like, you know, it's, it's so easy. You know, I've been doing this shit for years. Right, man, so. right. And it, and it shows, yeah. you know what I'm saying? At this point, it's just fun to me, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can write, you know, I don't, you know, I don't even write or nothing like that. I just go in there and do what I do. You know what right, man? right, right, yeah, right, shit. right. So who you always, always wanted to work with in the game that you never got to work with? Like celebrity-wise? Celebrity and local. Out of Dallas. Out of Dallas. I like to fuck with the young niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like Yellow Beezy. Oh, uh, really? Shout out Beezy. Trap Boy. Yeah, Trap Boy, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, OG wise, with OGs of the city wise, I would say, like, I can't say, I, 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 I can't, I would say I would like for us to come together more and do some more shit. Like, right. me, and, me and Gator, Ooh. me and Cotton, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? Who else? Another OG nigga. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you uh, name all, 
That's it? Is that it? That's yeah. all it's down? Nah, Hell nah, you got Young you got Hustlers with some OG niggas. Okay, the Rallo. Yeah. Okay, Young Hustlers. You got yeah. to tell me, come on. Yeah, yeah Rallo the Pimp, you know what I'm okay. saying? Well, everybody. I'm just, yeah. just going to sum yeah, up and say I, everybody. I mean, yeah, uh-huh. I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? But, right. you know, I just know, like, actually, me, me, and, me and Gator got, well, shit, we did a represent three, actually, that never came out. Man, y'all need to come on out with that, because Dre to drop that key to the city. Yeah. Man, my tell them, y'all, my city, y'all sleeping on my city. Stop sleeping. They keep at, you know what I'm saying? I be asking people, you know, on podcasts, you know, like who who you think the hottest is. I be trying to tell people, man, it's a lot of hot people. It's a lot of hot people out here, man. Y'all just got to tune in. If y'all don't tune in, y'all ain't going to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we out here. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, shit, it's going to be in your face, you know. I mean, what you think is the difference from back then when you was doing music to now? What's the, what you think the biggest difference thing is now? Shit, social media, man. Social media, huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it cracked it wide open. I cracked it wide open. Yeah. I, I love it, too. I mean, right. shit, you ain't got to do too much to right. like promote yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but shit, we was on, we was, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, hand to hand. Hand to hand. hand. And, you know, yeah. giving niggas flies, look yeah. back, nigga thought, frisbee in that bitch somewhere. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. shit, you know, social media, you can put it in their face, man. You know what I'm saying? Already, already, yeah, so, man. Yeah. So, man, so, like, what's some things, like, along your journey that you, that you think that you done accomplished and you done learned from along your journey in this music? Mm, that's a good question. Well, I feel like my biggest, biggest accomplishment is that I'm still here to be doing it. Right on. You know what I'm saying? Right on. I'm still here to be going in that studio doing what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? And um, what was the other what was the other, other part of the question? Uh look, look. So that's when that we <laughs> <laughs> like uh like when, what, and what you learn from them, you know what, what I'm learned. saying? Yeah. <clears throat> Along your through your journey. Well shit, you know what I'm saying? I done had a lot of you know what I'm saying, ups and downs with this shit. So Right. I just learned to be I guess you could say out of all, all those experiences, I've learned to be more focused, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know what I'm saying, not get derailed by the foolishness, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just more focused now. This, that, that's why I say even, like, even, that's what I was saying, like, even, like I say, when I went on the scene, you know what I'm saying, I stayed recording because, you know what I'm saying, for the love of the music, you know what I'm saying? But. Now it's like, you know what I'm saying, I just got a new attitude about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I experienced a lot of letdowns that kind of beat me up, you know what I'm saying? Right so, on. Nigga had to recover from that shit, bounce back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, people don't know that music hard. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like especially when you when you when you know you got it, you know, and you know you there and then you know it's like you got people in your corner that could help you out, you know what I'm saying? It's teaching this ain't even about the money. You know what I'm saying? It's all, sometimes it's the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, let, let me know what you know. Woo woo. And it's just certain things. Then life kick in. You start getting the kids. You start getting yeah. older. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a process. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, what advice you, would you give somebody out there trying to, you know, you know what I'm saying, through this music? I say keep pushing, man. Don't let, don't get derailed by the bullshit, man. Just keep right. pushing. Shit. Right. Just keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of obstacles to hurdle out like there, but shit, hurdle the most and keep on running, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? Already. So what's yeah. Bofly favorite favorite strain he like to smoke on? What's his top three favorite strains Bofly like to smoke on? Shit, man, just the OG. The you OG. It's the OG. OG. Yeah. The OG likes to smoke the OG. Yeah, man. it ain't nothing like the OG. I'm trying to tell y'all. You can't beat the OG, man. That, that OG. OG. Man, that concrete. Yes, <laughs> For real. Yes, so who so, um, so so who'd you say um you said you wanted to work with as far as in the industry again? Like, you know, you, you, but you was talking about local though, right? Yeah, you, I said you got the local, right? You said yeah. everybody. Like, oh, shit, man. You know, like, top you three, out? man, Face, UGK, yeah, a, UGK, well, you know, with Bun. Uh, okay, Bun, yeah. And Ball and G, man. Yeah, that'd be well, a nice which I, track. Which I know yeah. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, Face is retired, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. Definitely man, pimp, man, face say he retired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to say face. I'm finna hit you too on on this podcast yeah. too, man. You know, get uh, yo, get a uh, what? Get old boys reloaded. You know, you you drop. I heard you working on the album right now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he ain't retired. He probably man get in there, but like, so 
You say you want face if you can try to work with face. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, I know no niggas and already done jams with face, but mm -hmm. shit, I just think that'll be a nice one. That, that would be a nice one. Yo, especially yeah. having the catalog. For real. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, you know, of course, Bond and shit. And mm -hmm. Ball and G, man. For real. Top three. Man. Shoot. You say Ball. He say, man, Ball. He he he, he running around, man. I had hit him up. Hit his management up, man. He, he got some nice numbers, man. I'm talking about reachable numbers for a bird. What? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah, yeah. He got some reach. He say it's obtainable. Hey, yeah. I'm talking about. I'm talking about not hurting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> Probably shout get, out the ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like shit. <laughs> Nigga ain't gonna hurt. I can't yeah. say it. I want to say it, but you gonna be like, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, it's going down man, like man. that. For real, man. Man, I want to, man, man. I want to say, man, we really do appreciate you for contributing to this Dallas history because we want to know that you are a part of Dallas history and you are a legend. If the people don't understand that, because you have been in it for a long time, about you done been on tracks with Squeak, Young Squeaky. You done been on there. Yeah. I'm talking about you. Done, you've been down there with the, little Squeak. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm talking about you got. You already got a resume out of this world. You know, in Dallas. You know what I'm saying. I want people to recognize for the people who don't know because it's out. People down here don't really know their history. You know what I'm saying? Your history sitting right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So is there anything you want to uh, say to anybody? Anything? Any shout outs you want to give? A, drop some uh, tags where they can reach you at before we get out here. Before I ask my last question too. Oh, uh, really? Shit. As always, man, RIP to my nigga 24K, man. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, you know what I'm saying? Believed in your boy. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the shirts say 24K. You know what I'm saying? We represent all the time. Oh, yeah. there, For real. You, you need believe somebody what nobody believe. else did, you know. Right. Man? That's that one. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That motivation that and everything. That's my yeah. nigga, man. Oh, really? I really love that nigga, man. But yeah, uh other than that, it's uh Mr. Blowfly on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Blowfly on Facebook and shit. Mr. Blowfly on Twitter, Snapchat, and all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, y'all know what it is. So Shout out to Rifle Man in the building. Man, shout out Rifle Man, man. man thank you for blessing, you know what I'm saying? Blessing the Casa, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. By the Rasa, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got them projects coming out, man. We got like, how many is it, right? 14. 14, 14 projects coming out in 2022, nigga. The music is already done, nigga. That's no limit. It's been laying low, <laughs> letting our hair grow. You dig? But shit. It's real, A bunch man. of projects about to drop. God man. damn it. That's yeah. work. You know what I'm talking about? A bunch of visuals, you know what I'm saying? Some shit. It's about to, it's about to go down. You know what I'm saying? Man, what you think, man? I'm like, I got two questions before we get out of here. Fuck that. Out of your bag, okay. out of your catalog, man, what was your, man, what was your pride and joy song? Damn, my nigga. That's yeah. A, that's a hard question right there, my nigga. But you know you had that one. I know both of I had that one where he get up and like, nigga, nigga, don't touch that radio. Nigga, shut up. Nigga, this this the one. <laughs> I got a lot of ones like that, man. Ooh, wee. Uh, shit. I can give you two. Man, give me your two, shit. I tell you, shit, they, they on my, they my two. Southside. Talking for what you need, Southside? Mm hmm. Damn, okay. You know what I'm saying? And then, man, I don't know if I'm gonna be copyright strike. You know what I'm talking about? Where that motherfucker? Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, that gangsta shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't know about that. You don't know about that. They 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 don't know about that. about that. They don't know 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 about that. Yeah, right, right, no. You know what I'm saying? He got one in the oven. We'll do a video for that bitch, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Man, and I will be on there liking that motherfucker. For sure. Firing that hoe up. And my last question of the life. If you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask you? <laughs> <laughs> man, you want to ask a nigga that shit with... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The line bit the question. Man, the end. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta hit him. You know what I'm saying? Like, boo. We on the lit podcast. Man. We lit. <laughs> like, square business. I'm gonna have to like, call you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I need 
Big Time think that over, man. You know what I'm saying? My nigga made Big Time think that over, man. I know what I asked, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but tell you know me, man, because shit, I, I, shit you know I'm, 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 I'm totally lost right now. You done is, is fuck you, me up. Is you, is you happy, you know what I'm saying? Is you, you know what I'm saying? Is you, do you feel like you do you feel like you want you where you want to be now? You know what I'm saying? Oh no, not 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 by far, man. Right, right. You, know what I'm saying? you still you feel like you still got more work. A lot of more, lot of more growing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, really? we, I feel like we just got a new win. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, this, right. This, this is our second win right here. Me and Rifle Man both. You know what right. Saying? It's our second win, but you know we just got a whole new outlook on it though this time. Right. You know, we about that business with right. this time. What you think we looking like as a city as a whole right now? I mean, we we looking good as far right. as like the, the younger representation, you right. know what I'm saying? But in all honesty, I think the OGs need to come together. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it here first. I, I'm gonna say we we need you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we do. You know what I'm saying? Cause like one one thing a person don't understand, we can always learn something. Even though per, even if you don't know this and don't know that, but if we come together and put our minds together, hey man, it's gonna it's gonna. It's gonna do what it do, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like it's gonna yeah. grow, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna manifest. So yeah. I wanna say we love you. We wanna appreciate you for stamping putting that stamp in that Dallas history. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all tune in the lit podcast every Friday. We got special guests coming in next week. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can hit that link in the description. You already know where to find Blowfly. You know what I'm saying? And oh, we getting rifle man up in this motherfucker. Best believe that. And we'll buy this bitch! Already, thank you for having me, my nigga. <laughs> Uh, really. <laughs> Growing up, I was into street shit Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit But I always knew that I would be